What's up guys, it's Shrek and it's time for another modification guide. So I specifically did not put this bolt... <laughs> I specifically did not put this bolt in the Raptor Strike because I wanted to be able to remove it easily so that I could pop out all of these screws so that I could get to work showing you the internals, gutting this thing, and making it better. Now, uh, time is like a flat circle, sort of pizza-esque, which means that I'm not sure if I'm recording this before or after I will have launched my Modulus Mod Guide, that is the Modulus Regulator, but Let's go ahead, crack this guy open, see what's inside. There are a ton of screws. This might be worse than the long shot in terms of how many screws are in this blaster. Let's go. So, after a monstrous amount of screws come out of the Raptor Strike, you can go ahead and crack it open. The first thing that pops off is its funky top sight, and that's because that is spring-loaded. Then, as we come through, you can see that this side of the shell should now have very few screws on it, but essentially what's inside here is a retaliator. Now, this makes a ton of sense. Our priming indicator back here with the bolt up here and this being back here is connected via a very thin wire. We're probably not gonna fool with that at all. Then we've got our spring-loaded mechanism up here, which again, does not need to be fooled with. Down here, you can see how they do these rubberized grips for the AccuStrike, and I think that that is really, really interesting how it kind of folds over, very much like the, uh, the dart doors in stripes and what have you. But this is our meat and potatoes the guts of the blaster. There are of course the usual locks inside and we will be gutting all of those locks to turn it into a very clean just magazine release and fire blaster. Then we've got the dart tooth up here. We could do a full breach for this blaster because lord knows it has the room but I'm not going to fool with that either. Since these blasters tend to have very good internals the primary thing that we're going to be doing is removing this back plate taking out our spring and replacing it with one of the Oz Nerf Nerd, or not Oz Nerf Nerd, the Australian Nerf Turf Springs. We'll probably throw something really powerful in here like an eight kilogram. Then we'll upgrade the catch and we'll remove some of these locks. But the locks should speak for themselves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those out while I've got Bobo here to be my excellent floating camera. So this is our catch mechanism in the back. That'll pop out like so. And then we've got the trigger over here. So set that aside and then the lock mechanisms are this and then there's one more down inside here. To get at it we're going to have to remove this screw which is imperative for how the magazine release works. Tease that out and then come in here and remove this. We could also shave the posts off of the bolt sled but it should not be necessary. Now we can deprime and remove magazines at will. Pop that out as well. You might have to just tease the entire bolt out to get rid of this. There goes the bolt lock and the clip lock. But we're going to have to maintain this part here as our magazine release. So again, this is ultra, ultra simple stuff. This is going to go right back in so that we have a lever for the magazine release to function. Then we're gonna change out the bolt, spring, and replace this catch and we'll be good to go. I'll show you what that looks like next. So our internals are put back into place. You can see that it really does not like this spring. It's trying to explode. So I doubled up the catch down here, but the entire thing isn't actually going to sit until I actually sandwich it together. But I think that it's going to have much more pop, about as much pop as you can get out of a retaliator style uh, blaster. This is basically just an elite plunger tube inside a really cool shell. Let's go. 
Alrighty guys, so that's it. The Raptor Strike was that easy to modify. It really is just that simple because it is a straight up elite springer inside. It's a retaliator or an EAT or whatever you want to call it on the inside. It is very simple. So we maintained the priming lock, which we, or the priming indicator, but all the other locks have been removed. That's not really a lock so much as it is a feature, which is why we left it. I was having a hard time getting this thing to spring load as I was putting it back in, but after tightening up the body and just working it a couple of times, it started spring loading again naturally. So that's awesome. We we can finally actually install our bolt now because I am happy with the internals. I've tested it a few times and now I'm comfortable whoop, clicking that into place. Again, once you've done it the first time, you actually have to break internal tabs to pry it off with a claw hammer. So I waited to modify mine without putting it all the way through. I think that that's wise if this is part of your plan and it is so easy to modify that it's well worth doing. But now that it is primed and ready to fire, we're gonna go ahead and fire downrange and see if our performance improved as much as I hoped it did. But before we do, sniper status. Yikes, so not a huge improvement. We'll have to put it over the chronograph real quick, but uh, let's go ahead and toss in actual AccuStrike darts. Again, this magazine is brand new AccuStrike darts. That was a bunch of SENC darts. Hopefully it performs at least a little bit better with that. And again, it's the ammunition, not the blaster, that's super accurate, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's a nice power boost. It was relatively easy to do. I actually took one of the lock springs and used that to double up the catch spring, so the only material that I needed for this mod was that Nerf Turf uh, 10 kilogram spring, and I will put a link to that in the description box below if you want to replicate this work. I could have re-greased it, I could have done a bunch of other stuff, but the Elite Plungers tend to be pretty efficient as they are. Other than that, now it's just a slightly improved Raptor Strike, and I mean that's really all that, that it can be, because it is just a Springer inside. So, kind of disappointing from that perspective, but people do all sorts of integrations to make their springers look really, really cool, and this comes pre-made in sniper rifle form. It looks pretty cool, and it's got decent internals, so it's almost like a pre-done mod from the factory. That pretty much covers it, though. There's not a lot else to say about this. I really do appreciate you guys watching, and this is my first video that I filmed and edited entirely in 4K, so if you like the 4K resolution, most of you are watching this on mobile, and so nobody's seeing it in 4K, but... If you're one of the special people that watched this in 4K, be sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below that just says, hashtag 4K. <laughs> Bobo's behind the camera and he's just like, smash that like button. Smash the like button, guys! Smash it! 4K, 4,000 upvotes! Let's do it! 4,000 likes! 4,000 likes! Let's do it! Smash it! Smash it! Damn! 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 Dab on that like button. Hey, when I dab with the Raptors. <laughs> Much love, Nerf on Dracast! <laughs>